Welcome back to Salvage Diaries, where today we are going to be putting the front end back on the van, tightening everything up, and hopefully get it down on all fours. Okay, so firstly, I just want to apologise for the lack of time lapse that we had in the last video. Basically, I filmed around 20 minutes worth of footage putting the engine in, but the file got deleted, so I had to screen record the file because it was then too big to get back on to my phone to then edit. So, just want to apologise for that. So today, like I said, we're going to be putting the front end back on the caddy show you what we've been doing our time lapse putting the bonnet on putting the bumper on putting the headlights in and so on i'm really excited to finally get this front end put back on because it seems like forever that it hasn't had a front end on it so let's get into it um we go over here we have put the screen washer bottle back on now if you come over onto the tour line it's got this heater system I think what it does is it allows the uh, engine to get warm before you start it to sort of demist the, the windows and stuff I'm not putting that in that's staying out um, it's just a preference thing uh, these mats 16 pounds in Halfords I'll show you there six piece black floor mat I've still got two there um, so they're coming well, well come in handy. I'm going to pick up some more. So we have connected that up there. I've still got to put the, the bolts and stuff in there, but I've just put sort of one either side just to hold it in. We've connected the intercooler pipe up there. Um, we've finally got that drive shaft in. I broke the of one all the ball bearings come out of that side and it's just a pain so i've managed to it's a bit of an oil leak on that we're we're gonna service it i think that is from actually that's not an oil leak that is from the bleeding the gearbox fluid yeah so i've connected this pipe up here everything's all connected up um so what we're going to do now, what are we going to do, what are we going to do, we're going to put the bonnet on, headlights and then bumper. Oh, I've also got to connect the uh, lever for the bonnet catch, um, there's a little, where is it, there, so that needs to be connected up. I need to get the old ball out of there as you can see it's got the old one in so I'm going to get that in put this on so yeah we're uh, we're getting there we're getting there all in place so I'm going to do some time lapse now I'm going to set you up on the tripod um, yeah we're just going to start getting all the front end on and then yeah Stop waffling now, because I do that a lot. I waffle on. You don't want me to explain what I'm doing. You want to see what I'm doing, so we're going to do that right now.
Right guys, so got the bumper on now. I didn't film this part. It's a bit of a pain to get on, so we've just got to sort of clip it in there, bolt it up. Same again the other side, put the grill on. Everything underneath is all tightened up. We've got to get the wheels on, on both sides, and then obviously we need to get the uh, mud guards in at some point. What we're going to focus on now is getting the dashboard in, getting all the carpets in, and getting the seats in. We are going to be doing the rear seat conversion. I'm not going to be doing that until we've got the van MOT'd. Um, I've done all the wiring at the back. Well, not all of it, most of it. So as you can see, got the rear wiring in for the, for the rear lights. Same there as well. So, let's open this up. What I've done, it's still going to be boxed in. Again, this is from the tour answer, so obviously not a, not a straight swap. So that's all going to be boxed in there, so you won't see that. I've run all the wire into this side up here. That's, again, it's going to be boxed in there. Um, got earthing points connected there. And these on the tour ran goes up that side, and the same with this one. So they connect together. They normally go up for this light here obviously the different different doors the rear door on there is an up and over these doors open outwards so we're gonna have to adapt some of that but we're not gonna worry about that at the moment um we're gonna focus on all of this so i'm gonna time lapse all of this um put in the dashboard in i might set the camera up here get that done and yeah we'll uh we should have a uh, off the actual stands th today. I've got to connect that up somehow. There's um, the other bit of wire in there, so I need to find out how to connect that up. But they're all little bits that can be done after, as long as we can get it driving, moving, running, that's all that, that matters. We've got to change the door cards as well for the electric ones. Um, and the seat belts from the Toram go go in here so all that to do but again we'll do all that after we've got it MOT'd okay so quickly just before we get into putting the dashboard in I've changed the handbrake lever the the setup there that's that's been changed because the old one was a was a grey one um when you're doing the Toran swap you need to change out this um part here so that's from the Toran so that's the correct one now just going to remove the clocks I'm going to start putting the carpets in at the front uh, and then we can start getting the obviously you need to put the carpets in before you put the center section in um, because the center section goes over the carpet so I'm going to get that done I'm going to set the camera up um, and then I'll just do a bit of time lapse getting this all in into position and set up
Right, so this is where we're at. We've got the dash in now, obviously you saw on the time lapse. We've put the centre section in, connected all the cables. We've started putting this in. I'm going to be taking this out, but for now I've just bent that back because that's going to be done at a later date. Once obviously you've got the, the van MOT and stuff, we'll be taking this panel out, putting the rear seats into there. Um, so I'm going to leave that section out. That's just where the uh, armrest goes. Um, coming along very nicely. We've still got to get the um, what's it called? The brake sensor to go there. I'm just going to sort of just carry on putting all the bits in. Uh, I'll do a bit more time lapse on this. Uh, we've got to put a glove box in. We've got to put the top bit in there. Uh, speedo, etc., etc. So we're just going to crack on and uh, hopefully we can get the seats in. Okay, so we've now got the seats in. Obviously, most of the dashboard is in, uh, if you can see in the, in the seats. They're now in. Seats in, and they do need a bit of a clean. We've got the clocks in. Um, so we've sort of pretty much where we need to be with the with the interior now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the exhaust on. This is the exhaust system that we've got. So we've gone to like a, a straight pipe. No um, uh, centre section and no back box, so we're going to get that fitted now. Once that's fitted, I'll show you guys obviously what the finished product. Um, and then also we've put the electric door cards in, so we just, the door cards, the electric uh, window, whatever they're called, uh, tour and door cards are going to go on after. We've still got that side. To change so yeah we'll get the exhaust on and then we'll pop back in and we're gonna be getting the van out today there's still we're gonna need to put some coolant in it as well there is still some other stuff that needs to be doing but that will be done at a later date I just need to get the van out because I've got other stuff coming in and that's for another video so I'll catch you guys in a sec once we've got the exhaust on hey guys I'm taking over a bit from my dad and um We've put the door card in on that side, and there was a problem. The cable um, slipped out of this door handle, so we clipped that back up. Open so like that now. Ones. Yep. And then um, there was a little leak in the front. Nope, so there was a little leak. There was a little leak there. That's a blank off the um, heater thing over there. So I've done that. And then, um, what else did we do? Yeah, we started it. Sounds quite nice. Put the wheels on. Yeah, put the wheels on. We've, um, we're going to jack it down now, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to hopefully get it out of the garage. Not, mm, not tonight we won't, but Maybe. in the video we will. Yeah. Cool. Well done. Yeah. Top job.
the van is now back. It's not completely done, but it's done enough to get it out of the garage. Come on, say hello. It's my dog, Lola. Um, so what I'm gonna do is quickly do a breakdown of how much we've spent. Um, not exact because, like I said, we've not finished it yet. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a breakdown anyway. So, uh, blimey, this is going back over a year ago now. Bought the van for fifteen hundred pounds exactly. Then the gearbox was good in it. Took the gearbox off. Um, so I charged myself on the previous van. That I needed the gearbox for six hundred pounds. So then I took the six hundred from the fifteen hundred. Um, no, I paid fifteen hundred pounds, and then I got refunded two hundred fifty pounds from said guy from auction um, for conning me. So it owed me twelve hundred and fifty pounds. Then I minus off the six hundred pound I paid for the gearbox. I would have had to pay for the gearbox, so it then owed me £650. But then when I bought the Toran for £600, so we're back up to £1,250. Um, I spent 80 quid on the exhaust, uh, 650 it takes me up to 730 Then what else about to pay for? Because a lot of stuff obviously I've used from from the tour ran. Um had to buy a brake sensor that was 30 quid. And I've had to buy a rear brake light because the other one was broke, which was ten pounds. So that takes me to seven seventy. The van has cost me just under fourteen hundred pounds, so I've still got a little bit more to, to spend on it, but once the van is done, I would hazard a guess that I'll be it'll owe me around 16 1700 pounds. I'm gonna keep it for a bit, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll sell it. I reckon I'd get, I reckon I, I could get around four thousand pounds for it because it's not categorized. Um, I've just had it's got better engine in it, it's got better interior in it. It's got better subframe. It all works so far. Um, but obviously I'm yet to take it out for a drive. So that's where we're at at the moment. Now, the reason why I'm making this now and done a quick press breakdown is because we're going to leave the van behind for now. We're going to focus on something else that I've got already lined up. Um, I will go into that in the next video. So be sure to check in and watch that video when that drops. And obviously thank you again for watching uh, today's video. And obviously if you enjoyed it, please do like, subscribe and share. I will see you very soon in the next one. And if you're not following us on Salvage Diaries on Instagram, then go over there and give us a follow. Post little sneak peeks here and there. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.